What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel in another video. Today I am doing an open cup. I haven't done an open cup for a very long time, but I figured eh, it's about time to do it again because I've been, you know, feeling the urge. But colors we're working with is a thalo blue, cerulean blue. I have a fluorescent pink, fluorescent orange, and a titanium white. I have one different cup of titanium white over here with no silicone in it. All the cups all the paints have been mixed, two parts Floetrol, not Floetrol, two parts pouring medium to one part paint. The pouring medium was the Artist Loft pouring medium. And the silicone I used for the colors was OGX brand Coconut Milk Hair Serum. And right now you're already experiencing the pour. Now this is a traveling open cup pour. I'm not locking that cup down into position. I am going to continually put a little bit of base coat out saving some for the very end because we will need it for the corners and right now i'm just layering dark to light alternating colors colors i think that would play really nicely together i'm just letting them flow out together and it's creating this really interesting you can see the bands of color already no cells have started to pop up well one if you count that as a cell that is a cell, but no, no big cells yet. Not yet, but fear not, for the cells will come to us. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? It is the night before Christmas. I felt like, yeah, doing a pour. And my wife's in Michigan right now, dealing with her the family stuff that's going on, and um, it's just sad to have a loss like that during the holiday season but such is life and things do happen and we just need to be there and support each other so i'm really liking the layers like you're seeing that hot pink with the the dark dark blue there with that phthalo blue i think it looks really cool together i do love open cups just because of it's one of the few pores that you can, you know, kind of control. Like, you're always going to get these radiating rings of whatever layers of color you're using. And that is fun. Well, we got some cells popping up now. See? They're like, Johnny, stop telling me. I'll come out when I'm ready. And I'm like, okay. But, yep, I haven't done an open cup in a while. So I want to heat this up, see what kind of cells we can get. Because look at that ginormous hot pink and orange cell right there. That's kind of crazy looking. And see, the, now we're bringing the cells out. Trying to get them to just poke up through the surface, show off their beautiful colors. And I'm just lightly going over the whole thing with this uh, heat gun at a medium setting. Wow, that, that hot pink with that blue and orange right there, that actually looks so gorgeous. Dang, right in these areas. I love that. Wow. All right, so I'm not going to be adding any more color to this. So I'm gonna do this swipe because I like to disturb those puddles of color. I know it kind of looks like we messed some stuff up, but I don't think we did because we're gonna we're gonna center this. I love that orange. That orange is gorgeous. Now this is that titanium white without any of the silicone in it. I know I'm gonna need a little bit of help on the corners so i am just prepping for that help now before i spin it i do want to take a heat gun to that section we swiped over because there's still a good chance that we can get some cells to pop up out of there and if we get them to pop out early early is better 
they seem to, they're being a little stubborn. A couple cells are popping, but I'm gonna take the torch and just lightly kiss through the middle. And we've gotten a bloom of some small cells in that area. Now you don't wanna do this too much because you could burn the paint. I'm just trying to get a little bit of action going on. And before it is done getting just gorgeous, I'm gonna spin it. Just a nice kind of a light spin. Oh, man, I love those radiating colors. And you could tell with this one, I used uh, thicker layers than I normally do. Dang, that is cool. So thicker layers, you're gonna get much larger bands of color. Look at those tiny cells from the torch though. Okay, well, that looks nice. But now that we stretched out these layers, we can go at them again with the heat gun and try to, you know, help any further cell development. We're just warming up that silicone. And just helping some of these cells to develop in areas where now that the layers are thinner, you're more likely to get even more action. So that's what we're doing. So you can see all around that outside edge, all those tiny cells are just from applying this heat gun. Well, I don't know. I actually really like the colors in this one. Let me get you guys down here. Check it out real quick. It's pretty. There's something about that dark blue and the fluorescent orange next to each other. That looks so good. You can see all these tiny little cells that grew up out of the sides during that use of the heat gun. And I'm sure we will get more cell development as this, you know, continues to dry. But for now, I'm just gonna set it over to the side on my drying surface. And we will see this when it is fully dry. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.